Hey Steve, this is a Metal War God and uh, following your channel, Harmless Rebel, and I got a couple names for your record shop. Uh, of course, uh, love vinyl, love buying vinyl, uh, but name number one is called Vinyl Tropolis, and name number two is called The Vinyl Treasures. And actually, you know, it took me a while to come up with them. I did a little research, so hopefully see that there was nothing out there. There, something came up, but not in close to what I had in these uh, name ideas for you. But uh, anyway, I uh, hope you uh, enjoy those two names. What do I look for when I go into a record shop? Well, number one is uh, hopefully everything is alphabetized. You know, from A to Z, they're not kind of scattered all over the place. I've been in a few shops where uh, some are here, some are over there, and it's kind of hard to follow. And, uh, you know, I, I just like to have them nice, neat, in order, not too packed, you know, and, uh, you know, just so it's an easy flow to go through them. And again, not so tight where you got to pull a few out to get through. Uh, I've been into uh, stores where they have stuff in the back and you can't even get to them, they're so tight. So it's just a nice easy flow. Uh, number two, I do like to buy new vinyl and hopefully uh, uh, you can afford to uh, get some new vinyl. I, I'm just one of those collectors that like new vinyl to buy. Uh, although there's a lot of used vinyl out there, uh, I buy a lot of used vinyl. Uh, and uh, number three is, uh, again, for me, uh, when I do buy used vinyl, is hopefully the covers are in fairly decent shape. I, I think uh, you can read out some of the, the, the bad covers and, you know, maybe combine them with the better, better vinyls. I know uh, I, I've seen a lot of albums by a certain artists that some of the covers are good, some of the covers are bad, some of the vinyl is good, some of the vinyl is bad. But uh, I would assume uh, by watching your show you, that you would uh, have a good selection uh, in vinyl that plays very well. I would assume that you would uh, check it out before you would put them out on the shelves. And also the stickers, selling stickers. Again, I'm the one that I don't like pulling them off of there unless they're very, very easy. I've come to a point where I've, I've pulled stickers off and you pull the you pull the covers off with it too, and you know it, it just depends. Uh, but um, again, I also like that those vinyls come in plastic. Yes, some of them can be uh, uh, expensive, but uh, mostly all my albums when I get them, whether they come with outer sleeves or not go in sleeves as well as uh, the inner sleeves. Sometimes you, you, you'll uh, go through an album and you'll, you'll pull the album on, it's not, there's no sleeve there. At least maybe try to put a sleeve in with, with the cover because as you pull it out back and forth, it's gonna be uh, uh, scratched or roughed up a little bit more if it's not any protective inner sleeve. So anyway, those are my ideas. You got a great channel going there, and uh, hopefully, uh, I have some good submissions for you. Anyway, take care, and I'll see you next time. Later.